Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have another tournament going on this week on the indoor hard courts of Europe, the European Open in Antwerp, Belgium, a tournament that has been on the calendar for a fair few years now with some random champions here and there, and some big names are actually playing this event with ATP finals up for grabs. And some players are pulled out of this one as well, so let's go to the withdrawal list. Taking a look at the players that have withdrawn from this one, Oje Aliassim, he's pulled out of this one. Now, he's a player who actually has a spot up for grabs and could be making the ATP finals, but he isn't going to play this one. Basilash really, after having a really good week last week in Indian Wells, he's pulled out. Karinia Busta, Dimitrov, also having a good week last week, not playing in this event. Fanini, Umber, the defending champion, he's not playing. And Cam Norrie also pulling out of this one after making the final at Indian Wells last week. Starting at the top of the draw, we've got eight seeds in this one, and the top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Yannick Sinner. He is the number one seed in this one, and he is trying to get to the ATP Finals for the first time this year. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll be playing an Italian in the second round no matter what, because we've got Musetti versus Maga in the first round. Then we've got Del Bonas versus Rindenik. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Gasquet or the number eight seed Lajovic in the second round. We've got the number four seed, Batista Agu. He gets a buy in the first round. He takes on the winner of a qualifier versus Fucevic. We're going at it in the first round. Then we have Struff versus Ramos Vinoles. Winner of that takes on the wild card from Belgium, Bergs, or the number seven seed, Harris. The players I'm watching out for, obviously watching out for Sinner. Lot on the line for him this week. He's already part of the next-gen finals if he doesn't make the ATP finals, so he can play that. But he is going for the ATP finals spot. He is very close to the top eight. And a good week here will go a long way, so keeping an eye on him. And Batista Agu, also an outside chance of making the ATP finals, but has to do really well for the rest of the year. And also Harris. Keep an eye on Harris because he's been really good over the last couple of months. Played really well at the US Open as well, so keep an eye on Harris. In a small tournament like this, he might be able to sneak through the draw. Bottom half of the draw now, and we've got Opelka, the number five seed. He gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Popperin or van der Zandschulp in the second round. Then we've got Fakina versus Thompson. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Christian Garin, in the second round. Then we've got the number six seed, Diminor. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or Benoit Paire in the second round. Then we've got one of the biggest matches of the first round, TFO versus Murray. Huge match up there. And winner of that match gets to take the number two seed, Diego Schwartzman, in the second round. So pretty tough draw for whoever gets out of that Murray-TFO matchup. Players I'm watching out for, you got to watch out for Schwartzman. He still has a slim chance of making the ATP Finals. So keep an eye on him this week, because if he gets a good run at this tournament, he might be able to push his way into the ATP Finals. Also keeping an eye on Opelka. Had a really good year in 2021. So interested to see how he can finish the year off. And maybe a tournament like this would be good for him to win as the season ends. And also Andy Murray. you got to keep an eye on Murray. He's been super unlucky with draws of late. He keeps losing to the top 10, but luckily for him, in this event, there are no top 10 players. So there you have it. The Antwerp Open in Belgium. We had it last year. Umber was the winner, but he's not playing this event. And like I said, Andy Murray is a defending champion from a couple of years ago. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one because there's a lot on the line for the top seeds in this one. If they can get a good run at this event, they might be able to qualify for Turin at the end of the year. Taking a look at the draw and seeing who might actually get through this one. And I'm going to go with Opelka, the number five seed. I know that's a little bit outside the box, but I just feel like the pressure of the guys that actually have to win this event to qualify for the ATP Finals might be a bit too much pressure. Guys like Sinner and Schwartzman, it might be a little bit too much for them. So I think Opelka, with that big serve, and on the indoor court, it's a fast indoor court. I think he might be able to go the distance. So I'm going to go with Opelka to win this event. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one. So the ATV Finals, they're not too far away. And every tournament up until then is going to count, including this one.